if you define what a qualified lead is, then you can quickly identify who is ready to buy your products or services, saving you and your team a ton of time. And with a little help from our friend Instagram Automation, you don't have to lift a finger to figure it out. So let's go. If we head into the starting step, we're going to see that we have created two entries for this funnel. The first one is, can I learn more about your business? And the second one is, can you tell me more about your ad? These were set up through an ad. So as you can see here, I created an action that adds the tag came in through an IG ad. This way I know that every single person who engages with this specific funnel has come in through a paid promo on the ads manager. I want to figure out if everyone who is engaging in conversation with us through this ad is actually going to purchase because as you know, sometimes we get way too many leads, but only a small percentage of the people actually buy. So the next message is going to be hi and welcome. We would love to send you more information about our ad. Can we have your email to send you more info? We may send you emails in the future with promos. Remember, it's always super important, super, super important to let your audience know if you're going to be using their email for something else. Let's click on this box, shall we? When this update was given to us, it was a miracle. And it is this little red button right here that we're going to get to in a few seconds. So when you click on the message, you're going to see that this is a user input type message. So it's going to save the reply to email. So I'm just going to click here, select email, and any replies we get here are going to be stored as the email for the person. Here we can select save email to system field and set email opt-in. This one is really important because being compliant and getting consent from our audience is vital. And this, this is what I love. If contact has not responded in, let's say, two hours, you can start another message reminding them like, hey, <laughs> please give me your email. Retry message if the answer is incorrect. Please enter a correct email address, e.g. me at mail.com. And skip. You can remove this one if you don't want it there. And you can retry X amount of times if the user reply is invalid. Meaning that if I don't use the at, you can tell me three times or five times like, hey, Please enter a correct email address because you are not using this. So I need that format. I need the at and ManyChat is that smart. So when we zoom out from here, we're going to see that if the person has not responded in two hours, it's going to say, hey, sorry to bother you, but we need your email to send you the info. May we have it? We may send you emails in the future with promos. And if the person doesn't reply to this one, well, they don't want to give us their email, but you get a lot of traffic that Maybe their kid went running by, or maybe they got really hungry and got themselves an ice cream. Social media is so hectic and so quick that you can lose someone's email just because someone went by and they forgot about it. So this is always an incredible way to make sure that you're following up with people who may want to give you their contact information, but got a little bit distracted. Here, as you can see, we are sending an email type message. So here, we're going to be sending the information from the promotion or whatever info we want to create on the email. This is just an example. You do not have to include emails on your lead qualifying funnels. I really enjoy it because that way I can provide something fun for my audience as a thank you for giving me their emails. And I get to store information that I can later on migrate onto Facebook Ads Manager and create lookalike audiences based on those emails. Immediately, we're going to send a message that says, amazing, an email has been sent. So we can get to know you better. Tell us your favorite color. As you can see from the purple, this is also a user input. And what I'm going to do is when we click here, I am going to save this as a text reply type and save it to a custom user field named fave color ad or the favorite color that we're getting from this ad, right? So this way, let's say that we are qualifying that only the people who say red, you're going to be sending only those people the information. So here, if the person replies to red, look at the condition, how it says favorite color is, and you get to write it here. Or you can select contain, begins with, has any value. Oh, 
That's a really good one, I like you. If you want to, you can give me your phone number and I will let you know when we have new offers. So now, when the person gives me their phone number, which is going to be saved here, as phone and set SMS opt-in, I am going to send them a follow-up SMS. Following up, we're sending another message that says, perfect, would you like to be connected to a human sales agent? If the person says yes, I am notifying myself via email letting me know, hey Trilce, full name just did something you wanted to know about and you can edit this however you want. Trilce would like to be connected to a sales agent, can you please come over and take care of her? So you can modify this option as much as you want. And here it says, amazing, they will come to help you soon. So what are key takeaways from here? You can add conditionals right after you have requested information from your audience. So if you're selling shoes and you're qualifying leads and the person says, oh, I'm a size 4.5, then it's super simple. All you have to do is click on the box and this is going to be a numeric value, not text. You're going to save it as number. So that way you can save this, let's say age. Let's say you're asking for the age instead of the shoe size. So now in conditions, you can add formulas on di or different numeric values to it. So we, if we click here, age is greater than, greater than or equal, less than, is exactly, etc. And you can create formulas here or add different values. So if you're only selling a product to people over 18 and they say that they're 17, then you can say, hmm, you're not qualified for this purchase. So this way, you can start qualifying your leads, getting information from them and redirecting them to a sales agent just by using your IG automations. In my opinion, lead scoring makes your life and marketing efforts way easier and more efficient. If you're in need of some additional Instagram automation inspiration, be sure to join our ManyChat community on Facebook. Everyone is always there willing to help provide you with ideas and support. You need to check out the ManyChat blog for more brilliant ideas for your business. And as always, be sure to keep our support page in mind if you run into any technical issues. It's always there with a great answer. Thank you and have a great day. Adiosito. Bye.